People of color do not need a liberal savior. That's the message of Dr. Leslin Lewis, who is calling out Canadian news media for ignoring her. And while ignoring her, celebrating disqualified conservative leadership candidate Patrick Brown. See, Dr. Lewis is pointing out that Patrick Brown has been celebrated by journalists, credited for being able to, quote, deliver the ethnic vote to the Conservative Party. And while they're celebrating Patrick Brown, they're ignoring the fact that Dr. Lewis is from a minority community, has spent time with many people of color, and has demonstrated an expertise in discussing matters of diversity and inclusion. Now, it's natural to ask why. Why would Canadian news media ignore a black immigrant woman running for leadership of a major political party? Well, Dr. Lewis speculates it's because journalists like to push a myth, a myth that only progressive-leaning politicians can connect with and represent people of color, that only liberal-style politicians can speak for minority communities. And Dr. Lewis is not the first person to point this out. She's also not the first person to be undermined by journalists committed to spreading this myth. If we look at other countries, we'll see similar examples. Let's head south to the U.S., for example, and look at Congresswoman Myra Flores. Congresswoman Flores was elected in Texas. She was born in Mexico. She's an advocate for legal immigration. I repeat, legal immigration. And despite the fact that she talks about her religious views and she has a Republican worldview when it comes to politics, she has not been seen as evidence that Hispanic voters might be diverse in their political thinking. No, no, no. The New York Times has decided to attack her. They've labeled her a, quote, far-right Latina, suggesting she's an extremist because she's Hispanic and Republican. Also in the United States, over the last few weeks, Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas has been subjected to various racist attacks in the media. Of all the judges who voted to overturn Roe v. Wade, it's the single black conservative judge who's been on the receiving end of all sorts of criticisms and bizarre attacks. What if we head across the Atlantic to the United Kingdom and take a look at what's happening over there? They're having their own conservative leadership race to replace Boris Johnson. Numerous people running to replace Johnson are people of color from minority communities. Instead of that being a clear sign that regardless of what your skin color is, you might vote conservative based on your values. The news media has been confused and surprised by this, that the first non-white prime minister of the UK could be a Tory. You see, it's time for journalists to wake up and realize, just as Dr. Lewis points out, nobody owns the ethnic vote. We are just as diverse in our thinking as any other group of people. And this is a reality of politics in the 21st century, and one that everybody needs to wake up to. (music) 